welcome back everybody to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel below. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get into some NBA player props for Sunday, January 8th slate of games. Uh, we went 4-1 and one last night, back-to-back -back one last nights for us. Feels good to get on a roll these last two nights. Um, but let's take a look at last night's picks before we get into today's picks. Trey, go ahead and start us. Yeah, I went 1-0 and yesterday. I hit on Lori Markinen over 27 and a half points. Finished with 28. It was kind of a sweaty game, but another strong scoring night for the finisher. Yeah, I went 2-0 uh, and last night. I had Luca over nine assists. I gave out nine and a half. He continued to dominate everyone in his path. Uh, got a little sweaty early in the game. He only had two assists in the first quarter. And then late in the fourth, he had eight for a long time, but he managed to drop a triple-double again, so he got his over assists. Uh, and then I also had Barnes over 15 and a half points against the Lakers. He had 15 at the half. Uh, never really had to worry about that one. He hit a free throw early in the third, so that cashed. Teets? Win one and one once again. I'm, I'm working on getting out of this uh, 500 slump. So uh, Vucevic, I checked about halftime. He had nine rebounds, needed 11. So that was cash money once he got in the third. Uh, and Draymond Green, that was uh, that was not something I really wanted to watch. And I he's probably never going to be said out loud from my mouth ever again. So uh, sorry about that one. One and one, though. Let's keep going. Warriors blown out by the Magic at home last night, so that was fun to watch. Um, let's take a look at the parlay lock from last night. Um, I had Luca over nine and a half assists, like I said. Trey? Yeah, Lori showed up and showed out, so shout out him. He was a hit for me. Teets? He who will never be named again. He hit that under 14 and a half rebounds and assists. I think he finished with like 11. Yeah, but all right, let's get into today's prop. Uh, I have two props again for today's slate of games. My first prop will be Tobias Harris over 17 and a half points. Now, normally I would hate taking a Harris over prop bet. Uh, the numbers are there, though, to back this up. <clears throat> In his last two games without Embiid, Harris has scored 19 and 22 points. He's shooting an average of 19 times in those games and has an average of 39 minutes played in those two games. Now, he's going up against Detroit today, and it's likely that he's going to draw Boyan Bogdanovich as a defender. Here's why I took Tobias Harris. Boyan, out of 476 players in the NBA with stats on the season. He ranks dead last in defensive rating. 120.3 defensive rating. He's the worst defender in the NBA, according to the stats. That's why I'm taking Tobias Harris over points in this game. My second prop will be Damian Lillard over three and a half threes made. Uh, we're getting a discount on line here because Dame is in a shooting slump. Um, it has to end sometime, and I think it's going to end tonight against the Raptors. Uh, the Raptors are the 24th worst defense at guarding the three-point shot, and Lillard is averaging over 10 threes point shot per game. Uh, he's going to cash in on some open looks tonight and end his shooting slump against the Raptors. So my two props are going to be Tobias Harris over 17.5 points and Dame over three and a half threes made. Teets? I like that. I'll actually back up that Damian Lillard with the threes, and I'll give you Jalen Green over two and a half three-pointers made. Uh, Jalen Green has actually been on fire as of late. And I don't see that stopping against Minnesota. As you can see, he's went four, two, two, three, and four. So he's right around that mark, and he's averaging three uh, made per game over his last five. Uh, he's also averaging eight made or eight shots at the three-point line per game uh, over the last five games too. So the shots are definitely there, and it seems to have been falling a lot for him. So I definitely like that line, and I think that three plus is very very doable against this Minnesota team. Um, on the opposite side, you know, sometimes sharing is caring. We're going to go with Fred Van Vliet, who's been actually under a hot seat uh, over six assists. Fred Van Vliet, I'm going to give you guys some shooting stats for a little bit. He's been shooting 37.7% from the field. He's been taking 22% of the team's shots. He's 33% of the team's three-point shots, uh, also 24% of the team's free throws. In the last two games, he's shot 9 of 21 and 8 of 23 from the field. And three of nine from the three and four of 14 from the three. So he's came under some heat about not being a great teammate, not really facilitating the ball much, uh, and is just putting up as many shots as possible. So I think that he's going to continue the past two game run that he's had and uh, definitely dishing the ball around and making sure that his teammates do feel like he has their back. So as you can see, he's hit this mark three of the last five. Uh, especially with the Big 12, which was an overtime game, I believe. And then the Knicks, he got it with seven. So I'd like to see seven or eight again against Portland tonight. Yeah, we almost got Teets to say his name. But uh, <laughs> alas, he he did uh, stay true to himself and not say it. 
But the first one I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys two props today. This guy has been off the charts the past two games. I'm going to keep riding him, and that's Terry Rozier. is over 21 and a half points. Like I said, he's been on a roll. He's hit this number two out of his last three games. He's been putting up a lot of shots. And over the last three games, he's averaging 29 points per game. He's been a huge focal point in this offense throughout those three games. And I'm looking for it to continue against the weak defense of Nemhard and Matherin's defense. And over the last three games, Rozier has been responsible for a lot of production. 31.7% usage rate, 10th in the NBA. 33.8% of his team's shots, 7th in the NBA. 35.7% of his team's three-point shots, 19th in the NBA. And 32% of his team's total points, which is 14th in the NBA. He's, he's had the team on his back. He's been scoring a lot over the past three games. I'm going to look for it to keep going on the road against the Pacers. He's averaging 29 points on the road in his last two road games. And against the Pacers, he's averaging over 24 points per game in his last three games against them. So all those trends are above this 21 and a half line. I'm going to ride it. I'm going to look for him to continue to stay hot on the road against the Pacers. And then, you know what, Elijah, shout out you. I'm going to give you guys a Sunday under. And it's going to be in the points and rebounds category, and it's going to be Joseph Nurkic under 23 and a half points and rebounds. Nurkic is coming in, into this game with a non-COVID illness, so he's already not going to be at 100%. Combine that with the fact that this game is against the Raptors, so that so that means Nurkic is not going to see a lot of time on the floor because the Raptors will small ball you until you finally relent. And because there's not much you can do whenever they play Siakam 40-plus minutes at the center. And um, Toronto does not play their bench basically at all. Last game, they played their starters 82% of the time. So that means Nurkic is going to have to deal with a lot of Barnes or Siakam at the five. And he is not very good at his perimeter defense. So he's not going to see a lot of the floor tonight. And just to put this into perspective, Nurkic has played the Raptors 13 times in his career, and he's only hitting this number two times. And I think this is a pretty low number for him at 23 and a half, and he's only hit it twice. So give me Nurkic to not make a, much of an impact against the Raptors in this game. So I'm going to go under his 23 and a half points and rebounds and over Terry Rozier's 21 and a half points, guys. Six plays for you guys tonight. Again, let's do the parlay lock for tonight. Trey, start us off. Yeah, I'm going to go with Terry Rozier over 21 and a half points. I really like this line for him. The team is being on his back right now. He's getting a lot of shots. So give me the score 22 or more. Yeah, I'm going to take Tobias Harris over 70 and a half points. Uh, he's drawing Boyan Bogdanovich. I said he's the worst defender in the league, so I like his over tonight. Teets? I'm taking Fred Van Vliet over six assists. Uh, he's going to have to be dishing the ball and hitting his open players. And uh, I feel like if he wants to continue to be on this Raptors team from here on out, he definitely needs to make sure that uh, his shot usage comes down a little bit and his passing usage goes up a little bit. All right, guys, that'll do it for our NBA player props for January 8th slate of games. If you guys enjoy the content, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our Locks of the Week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.